is our Pro Cut S. Comes with two engine choices, either the Briggs and Stratton or Kawasaki powered gasoline engines. The idea behind a three-wheel rider is that you've got a very maneuverable machine that's excellent for trimming. With the deck being out front, you've got great visibility. Also, this machine allows you to follow the ground contour really well because it pivots behind the drive wheels and your deck is out in front, so it really follows over the ground contour, giving you an excellent quality of cut. The deck itself is a 61 inch and it's an ICD deck that does not have a sloped nose. The deck has 10 gauge in it uh, instead of the 7 gauge that most of our competitors use. The reason we do that is 7 gauge deck is thicker but what it does is put strength and thickness where you don't really need it. What we do is use double 10 gauge minimum in any stress point or any wear area all the way across the top of the deck we have a, a second 10 gauge that's bent in the opposite direction to reinforce around your spindles. So the deck itself is actually stronger than what a 7 gauge deck would be. The deck itself it has greasable spindles in it and they're uh, one inch ball bearing spindles top and bottom and they are a greasable spindle not just a spindle that has a grease fitting on it. So when you are greasing it it does have a release point so you can't over grease it and blow the seals. Again, like the rest of our Ferris products, we do use larger idler pulleys on it, and those idler pulleys being larger is gentler on your belt, so you get longer belt life. Also, because it's a larger pulley, your bearings are turning slower for better bearing life. And on top of the bearings, you've got debris shields. The debris shields are very important because they keep dust, dirt, and water out of the bearings, so again, so you're getting a lot longer life out of the unit. The deck itself does have an electric lift that you can use to raise and lower the deck. Uh, to get up and down curbs on and off trailers and also if you're in a position where you start to spin a wheel out you can use the weight of that deck by simply moving the deck enough to grab some weight but not change your cutting height. In order to raise the deck either the engine has to be running or at least the key has to be on. Simply push the pedal Now again, the deck's high enough so you can service the blades, clean out underneath, climb curbs, get up and down obstacles, that type of thing. And you always want to let it back down in the full float position so it follows the ground contour. The three-wheel rider is a very simple machine. It's got one hydraulic pump right here with a fan on top for cooling and this one pump drives the two wheel motors on the 23 inch drive tires for an eight mile an hour ground speed. When you are ready to operate the machine, you simply throw the parking brake off. Now you have a foot pedal on your right. The farther you depress the pedal, the faster you go. If you want to go into reverse, you lift your heel, put it on the rear portion, pushing down, and you'll, again, you'll back up at the rate of speed depending on how far you push it. The dash panel is very convenient to the operator. Everything is right there where you can see it, easy to reach. This is your throttle, choke, PTO, up is on, down is off. Over here you have the switch that raises and lowers your deck. Key for starting, hour meter, and of course your all-important cup holder is right up here on top. Steering is very simple. You, you've got these bicycle handlebars up here. You simply rotate the handlebars and they move in the direction you would expect them to move. And that steers off the tail wheel, which is driven by a roller chain. The roller chain is important because by using roller chain you're not getting stretched, you're not having to worry about wear over the life of the machine. And on the tail wheel you have suspension so that you've got a nice ride and you can utilize the 8 mile an hour ground speed to get high productivity. On the left side of the operator station you have the switch down here for your gas tank. There is only one gas tank but the reason it has a left and a right is it will blow, draw off of both sides until it gets down to a certain point. Then you'll run out on the one side and you can simply switch over to the other side and that'll give you a reserve so that you can get back to where you need to go or possibly even finish up the job that you're dealing with. Also on the left we have our operator presence pedal and as you're driving along your foot is just naturally resting on it so it's no problem to keep it activated. The gas tank on the Pro Cut S is just like the rest of the Ferris family and that is that it's rotationally molded instead of being blow molded so you've got a much thicker a uh, stronger gas tank, less apt to be punctured, will last a lot longer in the UVs. Also, you'll see with our new caps, we still have the wide mouth opening for easy filling and less spilling, but we now have a tether on these, and what that lets you know 
is these are the new systems that have an EVAP canister so that we meet all of the e, uh, EPA standards. And make sure that you do ratchet that when you put it back on, otherwise you'll have a problem. Down here on the wheel, you can see the spring that's part of the suspension back here on the tail wheel, which allows you to use that eight mile an hour ground speed, get a great ride, and uh, enjoy mowing with the lawnmower. And you can see how that works. The ProCut S is a very simple machine. Anybody can operate it. It's great for homeowners, but it's also great for commercial and municipal, especially if you're changing help from time to time, as you're as good with this machine in 10 minutes as you're ever going to be.